Alleluia Ministries International is a Bible-believing and Christ-centered church. We believe Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. His power is still at work in the church today, just as it was in the time of the Bible. We are AMI. Hallelujah. I read from the book of John 6, verse 22, and it will stop around 34. On the following day, when the people who were standing on the other side of the sea saw that there was no other boat there except that one which his disciples had entered, and that Jesus had not entered the boat with his disciples, but his disciples had gone away alone. However, other boats came from uh, Tiberias, near the place where they ate bread after the Lord had given thanks. When the people, therefore, saw that Jesus was not there, nor his disciples, they also got into boats and came to Capernaum, seeking Jesus. And when they found him on the other side of the sea, they said to him, Rabbi, when did you come here? Jesus answered them and said, Most assuredly, I say to you, you seek me not because you saw the signs, but because you ate of the loaves and were filled. Do not labor for the food which perishes, but for the food which endures to everlasting life, which the Son of Man will give you, because the Father has set his seal on him. Then they said to him, What shall we do that we may work the works of God? Jesus answered and said to them, This is the work of God, that you believe in him whom he sent. Therefore they said to him, What sign will you perform then, that we may see it and believe you? What work? will you do our fathers ate the manna in the desert as it is written he gave them bread from heaven to eat then jesus said to them most assuredly i say to you moses did not give you the bread from heaven comma but my father gives you the true bread from heaven for the bread of god is he who comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. Then they say to him, Lord, give us this bread always. Is there anybody who's hungry? Jesus. Can I try this out? Is there anybody who's hungry? Oh, Lord Jesus. If you are hungry and you cannot manifest your hunger, Maybe your hunger has not reached the paroxysm yet. There is a level when you get to, you cannot hide what the Lord Jesus. is doing. Is there anybody who's hungry? We are hungry for the Lord. Mare Katore Ashia. Jesus. They said to him, Lord, give us always this bread. Now I want you to be seated and I want to break down this so it may lay a platform on which we shall build the word. Jesus had a conversation with with people around him. The Bible begins by speaking of him operating in outstanding miracles. He took a young boy lunch, multiplied it and fed thousands of men and women. People literally got the breakthrough. They tasted the breakthrough. They smelled it and they tasted it. Bread and fish 
was given to everybody. They all ate and were satisfied. They saw Jesus Christ performing that miracle right in front of them. Anyone who is acquainted with the ministry of God and the ministry of Jesus Christ will be acquainted with uh, the operations of miracles because everywhere in the scriptures, God was involved, miracles manifested. In anything that involved God, miracles manifested. And the John 6 begins by telling us the story of uh, this miracle. It was outstanding. Men came to listen to the word of God and they were there for long. It was getting late. The disciples first approached Jesus and said to him, word of advice, logistically, there will be a chaos now. Please release these people to go to the nearby villages to find something to eat. But Jesus Christ looked at them and said, feed them yourselves. They had to come up with ideas and they all came to the conclusion that something is wrong in the atmosphere and our God is not speaking sense. They say, even if we we'll have wages for a full year, how are we going to feed the multitude? May I tell you that God is asking you to do the impossible. That's right. The assignment that God has laid on your shoulders in the natural realm, looking at them, you are afraid. You do not know literally how you will go about fulfilling it. You do not have a clue. You do not have an idea. It is scary. But God knows. If he will ask you to do that thing, it's because he knows what he will do behind you. That's right. You are selected to be a tool I through which receive. Jesus Christ is about to astonish this world. Who am I talking to? I there is a woman who is anointed for big things. There is a man here Jesus, who's receive. anointed for big things. Somebody God will use you for big things. I Get ready receive. for what eyes have not seen, what ears have not heard, what has not come up the mind of man. God is about to shock the world through you. I How many people am I speaking to? I receive. You are born for greatness. Oh, yes. Lift your hands and say, I'm born for greatness. I'm born for greatness. I see God leading you somewhere. He said to them, feed them yourselves. They did not have enough. That's why they came to him in the first place but now he comes back and said no, no, no. I want you to take responsibility I want you to take leadership I want you to do things that seems to be impossible because I am releasing an anointing to do exploit Woo! you are about to be the first I to get there receive. you are about to be the first to do it the they say it Jesus. cannot be done they lied you are about to do things that men in the have never thought will ever happen. Jesus. You see, sometimes when you really know that God is with you, stop going molo. Little projects, little savings, be ambitious in what you want to do for God. Jesus. Caleb was old in Israel. But when he spoke to Joshua, he said, Give me this mountain. That's right. Instead of speaking, oh God, give me a little room that I may have roof above my head. Say, Lord, I want to be a developer of a new city. I will save. I don't know how many people I'm speaking to. Men like you and I looked at the desert and turned a desert into paradise. You can do more. Look at two people say, you are called to do more. You are called, you are called to, do to do more. more. You are called to do more. I receive it. Now, my precious, in the Lord, please, I have a seat as I proceed with the delivery of the word of God. Jesus said to them, please feed them yourselves. How can we do so? We do not have means. For even if we will have a wage of a man's full year, it will not be enough 
to support the vision that you're giving us. Jesus Christ knew what he will do. So he asked them to make the crowd sit down. Because you see, miracles do not happen when you are all over the place. You must be connected. You must know that Jehovah, he is Jehovah. He has never retired. He has not Amen. expired. You cannot believe him and believe the ancestors at the same time. Miracles happen when you sit down. You allow your faith to sit down. Sit down in the grace of God. Sit down in the power of God. Sit down in the belief that uh, it is oh, not Lord. over. I am counting one till seven. Something will happen to somebody I who's believing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Receive. One, two, three, four, five, six. I receive. One, two, three, four, five, six, I seven. In the name of Jesus. Glory to oh, Jesus. Oh, somebody catch it in the Holy Ghost and pull it down. I pull it down. Seven. Pull it down. In the and name anointing of to Jesus. do awesome things. An anointing for greatness. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. While you try to go and have your seat, uh, continue with the word of God. He told them to feed them themselves. Jesus said, feed them. He knew what he would do. Made them sit on the ground. They sat where they were. He took what little they presented. Because in the search to find provision, all they had come across was very neglectable. What they had was so little that they did not know how to go about fulfilling God's mission. I remember God calling Gideon and he said, I'm too young. He called Jeremiah. Jeremiah said, I'm too young. He called Moses. Moses said, I can't speak. It seems like when God gives you a mission, he's always bigger than you. And oftentimes, you realize that it does not always stimulate your acceptance of the mission by giving you equivalent in provision. He gives it to you with no provision. When you look around, what you come across is so little that is literally insignificant to the fulfillment of vision. You have to fulfill something, but nobody is supporting you. But Jesus said that, I go, go with me. One man with God is majority. That's you right. say, but I need to have a majority in the boardroom. I need more people to support me. He said, no, no, you don't need anybody. You just need me. If you keep on walking, the doors will open. Thank you, Jesus. If you keep on moving forward, I will do something beyond the understanding of men. So don't be afraid when the mission seems to be greater than the provision he who made the promise is not a man he will not lie he is jehovah he is god Amen. he is well able what is impossible with man is possible with him Thank i'm speaking god. to somebody right now you 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 know the battles that you have inside sometimes you do not know if you are still or right up there because everything seems to be collapsing but god say i am yahweh i am the lord of hosts i am going before you i will make every crooked way straight for you uh, uh, be seated and it is saying that I said he took the little that uh, they came across and he gave thanks to God. Do you know that whatever you take to God is multiplied for your mission? Glory to Jesus. Giving thanks to God here was not just a sign or uh, a speaking assignment. Thank you. No. Giving thanks to God here was taking what was given or what was found and putting it completely back in the hands of God. Everything, no matter how insignificant it may be, 
when you put it in the hand of God, it becomes a weapon for your mission. Glory to Jesus. Moses had a road all the time of his life, at least in the desert. When the mission was given to him to go and set Israel free, he felt he was unable to fulfill it. Therefore, God asked, what do you have? He said, all I have is a road. He said, throw it down. Meaning, give it to me. For the mission I have given you, for the assignment of your life, there is something in you, something with you, something in you, and something with you that I will use to bring to completion the assignment I set in your life. All you need to do is in wisdom take what I have given you. No matter how small or insignificant it may be to you and put it in my hand. Whatever falls in my hand, says the Lord, shall multiply and shall it. help you to get to purpose. I receive. It was a young boy's lunch. He presented it to God, given thanks, and he took it, gave it to the disciples and say now multiply or give to the people they began to share it and give to every man every man who that day decided to leave home to follow Jesus ate something are you hungry is there anybody Jesus. who want to eat something oh yes I pray for miracles to flow in your life in the name of Jesus I say, I pray for miracles to flow in your life. I receive it. In the name of, of Jesus. Jesus. Be seated. They had something. They were all rejoicing. And it was a great moment. They had seen a miracle. Each one of them. Miracles do happen. And Jesus Christ, the Bible say, allowed his disciples to go. And as they went, he did not jump into the boat with them. But he remained for a while. Thereafter, he followed them walking on the water. There is a level above the level that I know. Oh, yes. There is a level above the level that you know. Oh, yes. Let's seek God for that level. Jesus. Who's with me? I said, there is a level above the level that I know. There is a level above the level that you know. Oh, yes. Let's seek God for that level. Thank you, Jesus. Who is with me? We are taking this thing higher. We are going deeper. May I announce, we will be the shocking point that there is indeed a God, the God who made heaven and earth. In the assemblies of the believers. Jesus. Those who believe God and don't believe God. Those who go about it molo, They're about to be shocked. Because God is about to appear through you. I receive it. I am talking about the theophany of God. In the name of Jesus. God is about to appear. To manifest. To show up. In a visible way. Thank through you, your Jesus. life. How many people I am speaking to? I receive. Jesus followed walking on the water. The following day, the Bible said that the people came from all over. They wanted the same experience. They had not seen it with the Pharisees. They had not seen it with the Sadducees. They have not seen it with the scribes. It was unreal. The power of God must always be unreal to us. If it is common, it becomes like escom. My God. And you know what goes with that. When we're talking about the power of God, we're not just talking about no more energy power. No, we are talking about the supernatural power. When it manifests, it looks unreal. Who am I talking to? I receive it. No low shedding with the power of the Holy Ghost. 
it was unreal they came in the numbers they came because they wanted the experience again they wanted it again they wanted to eat bread again so when they got there at the port they saw that there was no boat except the boat used by the disciples of jesus and that jesus was not with them they jumped into their own boat they followed him i'm following him i want what i had with him jesus uh -huh. have you ever had a dream so beautiful that uh, you are struggling to wake up <laughs> the dream is over but your eyes are still closed <laughs> just in case <laughs> on the other side there are dreams that are, once you have it you don't want to go to bed again those dreams stimulate you to an automatic overnight. Once you have those dreams, it's an overnight that begins. You don't want to sleep. You're afraid to sleep. Those are nightmares. But I'm talking about a good dream. You like him and he's far away from you. Everything in you is claiming him. But there is no bridge. But at night, it came to visit. You don't want the dream to finish. They came the following day looking for him. He was not around. They entered into boats. And they went where they thought that he would be. And when they got to the other side in Capernaum, they found him. How did you get here? They asked. Lord, we're looking for you. We looked everywhere for you. Before yesterday, we didn't look for you. But today, we're looking for you. We were shocked, Lord. How did you get here? It's like uh, you did not ask for permission. You just finished. Where's Pastor? We're still praying. <laughs> Jesus it is Lord. He disappeared before saying amen. Where is he? We, Somebody Lord, receive. <laughs> We are still looking for you. Literally, as if they're saying, you did not ask for permission to just disappear. Now, you see, we have come. The question was, how did you get here? We were checking the boats. You were not in the boats used by your disciples. How did you get here? God has his own ways. And the ways of God are not our ways. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, I pronounce over you that God is about to take you places that men thought you will never get. I receive it. They will ask you, how did you get here? How did you do it? How did you manifest this? How? You will say, it's not by might, it's not by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord. Be sure to tune in next time for the continuation of this preaching. You did not come after me because of the sign. But you came because of the bread. But the bread was the sign. That's right. Now that he got the attention, now that they started believing in him, now that their belief were at activated in a way that they were no longer passive but active they entered both to seek him he changed the gear God wants my relationship with him to go beyond what he can solve in my life the argument the debate the talk immediately was centralized around the sign if the church has to be the church there must be evidence that this is the church the power of God that uh, you should be desiring must go beyond the mere fact that uh, you have a job you have been promoted you have an increase the increase was a manifestation of my power the job was a manifestation of my power but you must understand beyond the simple manifestation of getting employment after employment jobs after jobs 
increase after increase. You must be in the place where you begin to believe in me. You believe in me as a source. Oh, yes. If you were blessed by this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel. You can catch Pastor Afluk Howe on AMI TV on the public bouquet or on our live stream on AMITV.com. You can follow Pastor Afluk Howe on all social media platforms at Afluk Howe.